Hey guys, it's Steve from TechGrove. If you've got an Android device locked by FRP and can't get past the previous owner's info, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you simple steps to fix that, no matter what Android model you have or where you are in the world. We'll go through multiple methods, so by the end, you'll have your device up and running again without needing any of that old info. Let's get started. This info is for responsible use only. It's meant for those who own their device and need to unlock FRP. We don't support any illegal actions, like bypassing security on stolen devices. Follow the law and respect others' rights. Our video follows YouTube's community guidelines. Now, let's continue. Type in safeunlocks.com, navigate to services, and select the FRP unlock option. Start by entering your name and email address. Ensure the information is correct and accessible since you will receive all unlocking details via email. Next, select the device brand you want to unlock and enter your IMEI number. Accept the terms and conditions. To find your IMEI number, check the back of your phone or under the battery for some models. Another place to look is the SIM card tray. Once you have the IMEI number, verify all the information and click the Proceed button. You will be redirected to your order page and should receive an email with the unlocking details. Follow the steps provided to activate your order. Watching the tutorial video can help clarify the process. After completing the activation, you will receive a membership ID associated with your order. Enter this ID in the membership identification box and activate your order. Ensure your device is turned off before doing this. Finally, you will receive a confirmation email indicating the unlocking process is complete. Once you receive the confirmation email, restart your device to complete the unlocking process. You will see a screen verifying the information. After this process concludes, follow the entire setup procedure without adding any accounts and proceed with the device's default configuration. Upon completion, go to your device settings to ensure that no accounts are associated with the device. This will help you verify your device information and ensure its authenticity. It's important to know that these unlocking services mostly work in first world countries. If you can't access the services or prefer not to use them, we offer 250 unlocks every week for users who watch our videos. Simply like this video, subscribe and comment with your Android phone model, like a Samsung S9, your IMEI, and your country. Once you complete these steps, you will be automatically enrolled Another ethical and legal way to remove the FRP lock from your phone is by contacting the original owner and asking them to unlock the device using their Google account credentials. If the original owner is unavailable, you can reach out to the device's manufacturer or the carrier it was purchased from. They might provide assistance if you can prove ownership with the original receipt or proof of purchase. Additionally, some third-party services and professional phone repair shops offer FRP removal services. Make sure to choose reputable and certified professionals to avoid any risks associated with unauthorized methods. Always ensure that any service used complies with legal standards and does not violate the terms of service of the device or the manufacturer's policies. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If everything worked for you or if you have any questions, leave a comment below.